My name is Sean Ryan. I'm a prospector and researcher, and now a technical advisor with Labrador Gold. I've been prospecting for the last 25 years, and you know I've been covered some few nice deposits in the Yukon. And what excites me about this Labrador project, from last year's data, from what it shows to me as a researcher and prospector, is we've uncovered two district-sized plays that have a lot of, uh, I call them haystacks. They're large mineralized systems. Labrador Gold is a junior exploration company with a specific focus at looking for gold in Labrador. We have three large projects located in Labrador. Uh, one of them is in the western corner, located 15 miles from Shefferville, called the Ashwanapi. And the other two projects are on the coast. One is called Snigamuk, but the real one that we're really focusing this year on is the Hopedale Volcanics that is tied to the tidewaters. Last year we conducted a large regional soil and lake sediment program across these two entire belts. On the Ashwanapi, we conducted uh, 4,500 soils and 1,000 lake seds across 85 kilometers by 25 kilometer area. The northern block lit up with, we actually outlined over 27 kilometers by three kilometers of intense soil anomalies that we plan to follow up. The Hopedale Volcanics, that was the second big hit that we hit, this is a greenstone belt that's green schist facies that's actually located right on tidewater. And the outcome of that was the entire belt lit up with some nice soil anomalies and we found some new rocks with gold uh, up to seven grams uh, in our first pass. So this was represents a brand new kind of discovery of a, green, of a greenstone belt that's virtually unexplored for gold. This year's program is gonna be to follow up on last year's large regional soil program. We're actually gonna go in and actually start gridding these anomalies that we pulled out from last year's program. So on the Ashwanapi area, we were planning on doing 10,000 soils, because it's gonna be a follow-up, and it's basically grid work. We'll have a, two or three geological teams following up on that anomaly. And then we're gonna move over to the Hopedale Volcanics, which is basically an advanced project in our eyes because it has already good geological mapping. It has some nice airborne work from previous operators that we're looking for uranium, so we could actually take that data and advance it quite quickly. So we're planning on doing another 15,000 soils there, put two to three geological mapping teams, and then if we have time, we're planning to follow this up with a small drill program in mid-September of this year. We're the first movers into this district, and we've actually, from last year's data, from what it shows to me as a researcher and prospector, is these are large regional targets over 50 to 60 kilometers of virgin greenstone belt that lit up the entire package. So this summer's program is really designed to follow up on that. Statistically, as I work with a lot of that stats, we should be able to uncover a lot of brand new gold discoveries in Labrador. For more information on the company and the projects, you can follow us up on our website called labradorgold.com.